In today's discussion, we are going to solve a momentum problem. Let's start the discussion. The first problem is, what is the magnitude of the momentum of a 20,000 kg truck whose speed is 12 meter per second? So we are looking for the magnitude of the momentum. The equation for the momentum is given by P is equal to mass times the velocity. Since in the problem, we have given a mass and the velocity, so we can easily find the magnitude of the momentum. The second thing that we need to do is to substitute the given mass, which is the 20,000 kilogram, and the given speed, which is 12 meter per second. So let's compute it. 20,000 times 12, we have 240,000 kilogram meter per second. So that is the momentum of the truck. Letter B, what speed would a 1,000 kilogram bus have to attain in order to have the same momentum with the truck? So by this time, we are looking for the speed of the bus with a given mass with a given mass of 1,000 kilogram. We all know that the momentum here is 240,000 kilogram and we have the given mass of 1,000 kilogram. So we are looking for the speed. We all know that the equation for momentum is P is equal to mass times the speed. But by this time, we are looking for the speed. So we need to isolate the equation so that we can get the equation for the speed. So let's divide both sides by M so that we have the equation now speed is equal to P over M. By this time, let's substitute. We have 240,000 kilogram meter per second divided by the mass of the bus, which is 1,000 kilogram. So we can cancel it. So 240,000 divided by 1,000. We have 240 meter per second that is the required speed for the bus in order to attain the same momentum with the truck now what is the required speed in order to have the same kinetic energy Now, we are looking for the speed of the bus in order to attain the same kinetic energy with the truck. So, we need is to have the same kinetic energy with the truck and with the bus. We all know we all know that the equation for kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So by this time, we have mass of the truck and the speed of the truck squared is equal to 1 half and mass of the bus and the speed of the bus squared. And since we are looking for the speed of the bus, so we need to isolate the equation in order for us to have the equation for the speed of the bus. So first, let's multiply both sides by 2. So we can read for the fraction here. So we now, so what left is the mass of the truck and the speed of the truck squared and the mass of the bus 
and the speed of the truck bus squared next we can divide both side by mass of the bus so we can cancel here so what left is we have now the speed of the bus squared times is equal to the product of this one divided by the mass of the bus and we can we can get the square root of both sides so that we can read the 2 here so we can cancel the exponent here so we can cancel here and here and also we can get the square the square root of this one so we have now can eliminate this one so what left is we have now the equation for the velocity or the speed of the mass of the bus which is b sub b is equal to square root of mt the square root of the mass of the bus times the speed of the truck so we can now substitute we have now square root of mass of the truck which is 20,000 divided by the mass of the bus which is 1,000 times the speed of the truck which is 12 so what we have now is we have 20,000 divided by 1,000 and get the square root then multiply it to 12 so the speed needed in order to have the same kinetic energy with the truck is 53.7 meter per second that is the speed needed of the bus in order to attain the same kinetic energy with the truck